All right, here we go. Welcome in to another Caveman Media podcast. Episode oh. number, I don't even know. 103. 103? 103. We took a week off. We took a week off. 101? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> once we, once we, we hit a hundred, we forget to count. We did have to take <laughs> <laughs> season two officially. We, we just gotta start back at one. Cause yeah, we should just start back at one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just yeah, we delete have, every season podcast two. we ever season did. Two. Over. Season two. Yeah, season two. Um, the reason we took off last week, we had a little little situation. We got one boy out. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll see big fella Zach not here. Shout out Zach. He's beating COVID right now. I, I honestly think it's all a lie. And he just didn't make the weight, so he didn't uh, want to. He didn't, uh, uh, didn't want to do his weigh in, so, you're so really he just put, got COVID. You're really gonna put his health. And dude, he's just like posing <laughs> on his couch. He's like, "Hold on, I gotta hit the house real quick and tell yeah. the boys like, <laughs> COVID's kicking my ass." It's I really saw I saw scale. a white jeep the other day too, and I was like, "This is fucking Zach." <laughs> <laughs> so Zach's out. Make sure you tweet um, at Caveman Zach. Caveman Zach. Wish him well. Wish him well, Lord. Ask him yeah, if he's fucking lying. Well <laughs> we don't know. He's fucking lying. That's how he's losing all the weight. COVID, man. Yeah. He's probably. Take honestly. it right out of here. Does he use his Twitter? No. Not really. I've not. never seen him tweet. Nope, very active not. on Facebook. Act very active. The man needs Twitter. to use Twitter. Twitter <laughs> is, <laughs> is Facebook for Get, Zach. Take that. Facebook. Yeah, Jake, old, Twitter so. is to Jake as Facebook is to Zach. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. Actually, that Jake's perfect. pretty active on Facebook. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Jake. I've, I've stepped it up on Facebook. Jake, Jake's active Dude, on Facebook. Dude, you Jake, get on, your, get on your phone right now and tell us what your screen time is a week. My screen time? Your average hours of screen time a day. See the uh, when you the Drew left. when you said when I feel you like we said, all should do this when you uh, said thirty six oh shit never mind uh, an hour and twenty one minutes on Twitter today yeah <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter uh, no just your daily average it should say your wow. daily all right time out how do we get there screen time oh screen time yep I see it oh, my, uh, my screen time today today I do today, not see it today. I deleted it <laughs> sounds about right. Today was two hours and ten minutes. Hour and eleven minutes on TikTok today. Damn. <laughs> I spent an hour and thirty uh, minutes on YouTube today. It says like three minutes or uh, three hours and like thirty minutes. Three hours forty. How do I get to just today? A week. Oh, I average about six hours a week on a daily basis. I average like nine. <laughs> <laughs> I spent twenty Hell minutes. Yeah, brother. Last week on Indeed. <laughs> 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 he was looking at houses. So my Job number, hunting? no, that's jobs. Not my Zillow. number one. He said he was one. looking at houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Zillow. My bad. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my no. number one was just thirty-one minutes on Twitter today. That was my nice. max. Not not yeah. a lot of time for a phone today. You remember when we did this my weekly months ago? average? We did, yeah. and DoorDash was like Do- seven hours. Those were <laughs> <a year> ago. <laughs> so yeah, like Jeez, a year ago, we do this exact same thing. I think it's just me, Connor, and Matt. And Matt goes, huh. My number one this week was DoorDash, seven <laughs> hours and 42 minutes. <laughs> yeah, month really month. just can't decide. <laughs> My Did weekly like average is four hours, 17 minutes. My weekly was 320. So, All right, anyways, let's get into it. So Jake's here, Jordan's here, Drew's here, Cody's here, Connor's here, Matt's here, Zach not here. Uh, let's weekend recap, shall we? Should we just? I think today is just going to pretty much be... A football show. I mean, if if you're listening and you don't like football, you can tune out. I don't care. I'm, I just want to talk football with the boys. Oh, definitely. I'd love to sit here and talk NFL football with you guys and nothing else besides NFL football. I was going to say, back, if we want to recap just, Saturday real no, quick, let's not, off let's here not. for the Bucks. let's move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't want to talk about Saturday. <laughs> yeah. What on Saturday, Saturday. So Saturday, the Buckeyes quack, lost quack, quack. to Oregon and oh. the game had ended. And, I was, and I'm just like, yep, Buckeye season over, week two. Freaking yep. sucks. And Taylor's like, what do you mean the season's over? They just started. I said, that's how college football works. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Don't make me explain it. I'm not in the mood. Play I know. Che- so Chelsea was at work. And, you know, they could give a shit less. So she comes exactly. home. Exactly. And she's like, hey, babe, how was the game? Oh, no. And I was like. I Chelsea, just, shut I just, the fuck up. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I just look at her and she Don't goes. talk right now. I'm going to guess that means not good and we're not going to talk about it. And I'll just like give her a nod like, yeah, that's probably what we should do right now. Yeah, we were watching the Ohio State game, Connor and I, and, and something happened and I yelled and my two-year-old son started crying because I kind of scared him a little bit. And, and my wife goes, oh boy, just wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Football season is bad. We'll get into that. Uh, yeah, Ohio State lost. We're not going to touch on it. Let's just move on to Sunday. Uh, Sunday, NFL football is back and 
Dang it, it is so good to have oh, can I Oh, Hold on, just real quick. Can I get a hell yeah if your team's 1-0? Hell, hell yeah. 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 <laughs> Victory Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Awful, awfully quiet over there, Cody. Oh, yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll see who's laughing in a few weeks from right now. We'll we, see who's we laughing. We have to get our cheers in while we can. So. I was, yeah. so I, we, we played the Chiefs, obviously, like yesterday, and you guys are obviously 1-0. We're 0-1. And I was just like, man, I can't wait till the Bengals play the fucking Chiefs. And I looked at it. You guys don't play them till like week, week 17. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn it. Be fighting for first place in the yeah, AFC that right might, there. Patrick, <laughs> yeah, Patrick Mahomes might be sitting at that exactly. point. Steamroll <laughs> the Chiefs. And Cody's great. like, fuck you guys. So, <laughs> no, no, we'll we see. show you guys how you guys should really beat uh, Chad Henney or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh, Ooh, damn. You guys sorry. beat was Chad that, Henney. When, where was that game at? When was that? That was... Oh, it was in the playoffs. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. That was in the playoffs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Hey, we all sat on the couch and watched the Super Bowl together, buddy. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's I think fair it was enough. this couch right here in particular. Fair enough. Um, God damn it, you guys made me lose my train of thought. Oh, the, we, we play the <laughs> Bengals. We, we play the Bengals. I think it's like week eight, week nine. We play in Cincinnati, so. Yep. That's going to be a fun game. We'll fucking dog walk you guys. Don't uh, worry. Right. I think we split this year. I don't think so, man. I think the so. only way yeah. I see us splitting, dude. Is if we, we were lose way week worse last year, and you beat us by a touchdown twice, and we should have beat you once. So, yeah, if that's the deciding factor, should have, could have, would have. We're also better than we were last year too. So, uh. hmm. eh. what do you mean? So uh. are we? What do you mean? Eh. That we're, eh, but not but better. But you're than last year. better. We are exponentially better than what we were last year. That is a fact. I mean, we were you guys a have playoff a team. We were a playoff yeah, team last so year. Yeah. So your ceiling. And so our improvement is leaps and bounds. You guys couldn't improve much more than what you already were. Right, honestly. because we were yes, because we were already a playoff team. Yes. Correct. Did our defense get better? Yes, we hold. We held the Chiefs to ten points in the first half yesterday. But then what? What? I mean, I didn't watch any of it. What was the final score? Yeah, I was <laughs> they scored like what was the score? They scored twenty three in the second half. But we dropped. A, we gave them first and ten at their own thirteen yard line on a drop punt. All right, let's go right into it. So I was going to go. Let's we'll start with the one o'clock games. We'll just skip and go to the Browns game first. <laughs> Got you take, worked up. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, we were up twenty-two to ten. We were up fifteen to three. We blew the lead. We blew the game. The, we beat ourselves. The Chiefs did not beat us yesterday. We beat ourselves. We get. We fumbled a punt. Gave it to them first and ten at their own thirteen. We're up twenty-nine to twenty with the football. We fumble. We give it to them. And then obviously Baker throws a pick at the fifty-yard line at the end of the game. We had so many opportunities to close it. And we played the Chiefs. We played the Chiefs. You guys act like we lost to some fucking scrubs. <laughs> you mad, bro? Yes, I'm mad. My team <laughs> lost. Yes, of course I'm mad. Oh, man. want to know. Yeah, I got nothing. You, <laughs> I was, I'm just, yeah, I just waiting want. on you God guys. God damn, look else. at that stud right there. Just waiting <laughs> on anything else for you guys to say about but, the Browns. Like, you guys, how many points did you score in the first half? Like, you guys were up, what, in the 20, first 22 to 22 10 to at halftime. 17. So yeah, I mean, 22 we, to 10 at halftime. So, yeah, I mean, the Browns are definitely going to bounce back after this week. I mean, we played the you Chiefs. You guys played the Chiefs. The Chiefs, they're a team that can literally just turn it on. They're like absolutely the like best team in the so NFL. We saw this. Yeah. I saw the score at halftime, and I look over at my grandpa, and he was like, yeah, they're doing well, but, you know. Patrick Mahomes can drop 21 points in a matter absolutely. of literally three And that's three what or they did. They scored 14 yeah. points in three minutes. Right. That's exactly what they did. We gave, they scored a touchdown on one play. We went three and out, fumbled the punt. They scored a touchdown in three minutes. They scored fourteen points. And we, I mean, you know how you still beat it. Still can't guard Tyree Kill. Nobody be can. No Nobody can. See him running, bro. I mean, if John Johnson would have turned around, he would have made a pick. No, it wasn't that John Johnson turned. Tyreek Hill, the fastest player in the NFL, is going full speed on a go route. Patrick Mahomes. Rolling out of bounds, just throws it up. It happens to be ten yards shorter of where Tyreek Hill. He came back to the ball. There's nothing you can do for do as a defender. You're on Tyreek Hill. There's nothing you can do. If he's running a go route, you run as fast as you can next to him. If the ball's ten yards short, so be it. There's nothing you can do about it. He was right next to him. So what? Do, so what do you want him to do? Jake? Turn around. Look he's for the running ball. Full speed with Tyreek Hill. Yeah, and look for the ball. You're running okay, full speed with Tyreek Hill. You're, You're just a trying corner. to keep if a up. Corner, he's not a corner. He's a safety. Corner, safety, DB, doesn't matter. If you turn around and look for the ball, he makes a play on the ball. Why are you looking for They Tyre? went over it's it like It's easy to say, but when you're running next to Tyreek Hill, they, they went over it like 30 can. times on ESPN today. I will say that most safeties will not make that play. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
any player in the NFL, when you're He's running. He's not JB3, though. So. <laughs> when you're running <laughs> step by step with Tyreek Hill, you're not thinking about slowing down. Yeah. You're just trying you're to keep up. You're not looking for the ball when you're You're just trying Tyreek to keep Hill. up. The ball was thrown short, so Tyreek had to come so back for it. Then it's We're here, so can we talk how the Bengals absolutely beat the dog shit out of Dalvin Cook yesterday? <laughs> Let me finish that gets, real quick. Let me finish. That gets, that gets me, me hard Let there, me finish boys. with the Browns. We're, I got the Bengals. No, it's not. Oh, your shorts are so short, your balls are about to fall out. So. <laughs> Come over here, big We're boy. We're going to see him oh in a minute. We know, we know you're a Steelers Gross. fan. You guys are big fans of nuts. So. <laughs> <laughs> my last thing with the Browns, for we'll move on to the Bengals. Which team in the NFL had the most, the best offense yesterday, the most yards, most productive? It was the Cleveland Browns. Okay. That's all I got. Moving on. Bengals. I mean, and what's, still what's, lost. The, what's the next three It's still lost. Uh... Bears, uh, Houston, Bears, Houston Bears, Houston Bears, Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, you guys should be three and one by week four. I agree. I agree. Yeah, if you're not three and one by week four, it's a problem. Got problems. We, we might talk about it. <laughs> All right. So the Bengals. The Bengals go to overtime against the Vikings. They were up twenty-four to fourteen. Twenty-four to fourteen. Yeah. Twenty-four to fourteen. Let them well, come we're back. Up twenty-one to seven, and then twenty-four to fourteen. Twenty-one seven, twenty-four to fourteen. It's Zach, it's Zach Taylor's fault for the comeback. Let them come back. Yeah. If, yeah. if they punt, that's we. It's yeah, we shouldn't not. have went for it there. <laughs> Jesse Bay said today he was pissed off that Zach Taylor even went for it. So right you guys there. had also fourth and one at your, at your like own thirty. No, much. no, it was that your our, own thirty? Our own nine? thirty. Thirty something. Yeah, your own your own thirty something. Stupid. It was fourth and one so up by two scores. Zach was so trying to drop I, his nuts. I don't. Yeah, so I analytics. So I was listening to one of my Bengals podcasts today. Analytics says you go for it. You have they had a seven percent more chance of winning the ball game if they go for it and get it than punting. I do. I get it. That is the analytics. And there was multiple things that the that Kevin Stefanski did in the Browns game that say analytics say you do this and he did do this. But in I just. In that situation, just well, taking first the off, taking played the ball, it's, punt the ball away. It's not even. Yeah. It's not even punting the ball. It's an atrocious play call he makes. Yeah. Yeah. Start, the Vikings. I don't even knew, remember the do, play call. Just, so it was just he, literally like a, a dive for Joe Mixon. Like they oh, know. Like, what, yeah. It was when Joe Mixon he kind of got tackled like, sideways. Like that's like, when yeah. you bring out the shit you don't have on tape. Like yeah. you run a play that nobody's seen before. Which is what the which Browns is what. Did. Well, which is what the Bengals did. I mean, we did it to you guys first in 2019, oh. and nobody had seen this play since, And which is what we ran in overtime on fourth down. I say that was crazy when the fourth and inches and we passed the ball. Oh, that was definitely a Zach Taylor dragging his fucking Ooh, nuts across the crazy. field. That was Joe Burrow. Like, what are you doing? He called two plays. That's what you guys – you were saying he checked to it. He Zach Taylor called two plays. Yeah. Joe Burrow looks blocks. at the look and picks which one is better for the look. Hey, I take it. That's – Joe, Joe people Burrow. are saying he called the play. He didn't call the play. Zach Taylor called two plays, and Joe Burrow looks at the defense and picks which yeah. play suits better. And it's for. not even that Joe Burrow decided which play to run. It was this was the, what the defense was doing, so that's what I should yeah. do is run this play. If the defense yeah. does this, I run he, this play. He if tells him this, if they're lined up play. in this, you run this play. If you're lined up in this, you run that. Regardless, you just love to see it out your second-year quarterback coming off an No, end. I agree with that. you. I mean – just going out there balling like that, throwing that pass to me is all about giving off of an injury. I will he say, yes, just to be game. critical, Joe Burrow, three of the five sacks was on him because he didn't direct the offensive line and put him yeah. in proper protection. It wasn't proper. I did blitz notice pickup. they did get very conservative after he did limp off the field. The rest of the game, they were very conservative. Well, that's that's our game plan anyway. Concern. Joe Mixon's going to be the bell cow. I mean, oh, he's yeah. going to until five, six weeks or whatever and joe burrow's fully i mean fully fully like yeah, they're gonna, joe mixon's gonna get 30 touches a game which is what he's paid to do yep, yep. same thing like you guys are gonna pay nick chubb a fucking they paid nick chubb. or they did pay we nick chubb an astronomical so amount of money he either has not to, really he's not even the top paid running so yet. mixon either has to one up nick mixon chubb and or chubb be getting, on pace with the same thing as they're nick about chubb. the they're same amount of money the same right now it's like 12.4 yeah, they're both getting 12.3 and like 12.9 yes, or something which is why similar. they have to be either on the same level or mixon needs to supersede i thought that. mixon played great yesterday i thought he ran very he hard very well he's just one I of those love, guys like he doesn't look like he's moving quick but yeah. once he hits his cut it's hits like old tr- yeah he's so one here's, of those guys that you definitely do not want to catch by running into him and he puts his shoulder down like he will ruin your day you don't think he will, but he definitely will. Here's my two Bengals stats that I heard today that <laughs> blew my mind. Maybe you guys have already heard these. but So, of the last – I thought for sure you guys were going to tie yesterday, by the way. Oh, oh I, I thought did for too. sure you were going to tie. I was going to be so pissed. I yeah. looked at the dude Shout next to, to me. Cook. 
So if you next if you look at the last sister today. ten NFL ties, I know you guys didn't tie, but if you did, so last year the Eagles twice. You guys tied four of the last ten yeah. ties in the NFL. Yeah, I bet. Right. The Cincinnati Bengals have never in franchise history ever scored a touchdown in overtime. Yeah, I saw that. Are right you serious? Too. Yeah. <laughs> in franchise <laughs> history? In franchise <laughs> history? Well, that's that because, include yesterday, too? <laughs> yes. Well, that's because yeah, up yeah, until a couple years ago, it was w- hit a field goal and win the game. It was first yeah, score wins. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, a field goal wins you the game. So, But I just feel like if you look at 32 NFL teams, they got to be the only one. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just a stat that I heard. That that's crazy, crazy, though. That is yeah. crazy. It's insane, too. I think I did hear about it, but that's one. Never scored that a touchdown They've or never, never scored won a, on a touchdown? They've never scored, scored a touchdown in overtime. And you've been 40% of the last ties in the NFL. Hey, the, on the, the ties, though, we don't fucking lose. Yeah, we, <laughs> don't, we don't fucking, we don't lose. fucking lose. lose. No, <laughs> I will forever can, die on the hill. There should never be a such Absolutely thing as a tie. Not. Never. If I so, stupid. So, overtime now is 10 minutes. They should just do something to where... We play 10 minutes Fucking yesterday. kick off. Like, line no. up at the 30 no, and they let should them just kick field goals until... Just go back and forth. First in, first down, you get one play at the one-yard line. If you get it, all right, the other team goes. If you get it, like it, then the other team goes. You just keep going. I or think you, I think it should like just be college. college. I think, I think it should, like just, it should be college, but you start at the 50 or the opposite 40, not at the 25. I think That's you just fair. go drive for drive. Can, get fair. the ball at the 20, wins. 25, yeah. whatever or it is. Or even, cool with that. even yeah. play the 10 minutes as, you know, regular. First score wins if you don't have something after that, like a That's college overtime. Yeah. So you do the 10 minutes, and then after that you go – First and goal to 10. You get four plays a score. If you do it, you do it. Then the other team gets a try. If yeah. you guys both do it, then you just keep going back yeah. and forth. Yeah. There should not be a tie in professional football. No, yeah. no not no. And I know that's been like discussed amongst the owners and it everything else. It fucks with the years. standings. It's a waste of time, first It fucks off. with draft order, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, There's so much I mean, on the should, line. Just like, I'd rather this either is win soccer, or lose boys. a game. We don't, don't tie in football. This should be a fucking draw. In football, oh, yeah. this is not <laughs> well, soccer. This is not hockey. This is not yeah. stupid. I, my biggest takeaway is, for the past lifetime, we lose that game. That's true. Oh yeah, we lose. Yes, I, mean, I, agree, I agree. Yeah, Andy Dalton's playing that game tonight. He's throwing the ball. Joe Burrow's hitting CJ Uzama for thirty yards. Andy Dalton's throwing it away on fourth down. So yeah, we're throwing away. <laughs> Here's the thing, like I, I I like the Bengals. Like I don't dislike the Cincinnati Bengals. I like Joe Burrow. He's an Ohio dude. He went to Ohio State. He was he's got the swag like we talked about before we started the show. I like the Bengals. And I know Jake, you can't get this through your head that that I like the Bengals and you just hate Baker Mayfield so much. I don't hate and Baker I know Mayfield. like Connor and Drew, like you guys can respect when the Browns are good. Like Listen. we have a good football team. And I know Jake, you just can't do no, that. No, here's my problem <laughs> is that Browns fans that say shitty stuff about Joe Burrow's injury. Like Zach did yesterday. Yeah, Zach was uh, way out of line. he said, I hope Joe line. Burrow tears his ACL again or yeah. shares his other leg. When you guys start saying shit like that, you wonder why no, I don't like you the guys. We have, it's like, your we fan have, base. It's we Zach, have some it's bad apples on every sport. Chad every Penrod has a bad apple. couple of them. And I think Zach, with Zach, he just likes to get you fired as fuck. up. And That's he probably fucked was up. I don't say shit like that. I don't care. I don't hope Baker Mayfield gets an injury. I don't care what the circumstances. Which is we have a That's common. A separate com- Let's, hold on. Let's start here. Thing. We have a common union of fuck Matt and <laughs> fuck the Steelers. And the Ravens. We can and all Ravens. agree. Yeah. We can yeah. all Everybody agree. Can fuck agree the fuck the Ravens. Everybody does hate the winners. So. <laughs> Like, I have a respect no, for the Browns, so too. So, this guy like, at work. I hate Baker Mayfield. That's just, like, for the Ohio State but, thing. My first Buckeye okay, game in fair. the end of winning that. I hate Baker I don't hate since. Baker. I, I used like to love sw- Baker when I like he was in Oklahoma. Swagger. I just hate Baker Mayfield. You cannot I tell me that Baker he is college not nowadays, a top but don't hate him. 12 quarterback in the NFL. You cannot say okay. that. You cannot watch that game not. yesterday and tell me that other quarterbacks can do what he did. When he sat back and th- Fired that fucking ball to Njoku over the middle. It was it was the best throw I've ever seen any Browns player make in their lives. Ever. Well, you don't have much well, you don't to, have much to compare That's that to. That's very true. Very true. But, <laughs> it, true. I mean, of any quarterback in the NFL, that but, throw that he made to Njoku so, was absolutely I'm not, ridiculous. I like Baker. My argument is who can make that throw when they're standing behind what Baker stands behind every week? As far as uh, the so, hopefully so every gets, NFL quarterback. So, so like, he gets docked points talk. because he has a good offensive line. No, it's just I'm not docking in points. It's a great throw. It is what it is. I'm saying 
there's other guys that you put in that same situation that are going to succeed like well, he yeah. has. I'm not. I just said, I said yeah. top twelve. I didn't say he was the best. I didn't say he was the only one that could do it. But like Colin Cowherd was saying all this shit today that he that Baker doesn't. Oh, is he back on Dude. the Baker kick? Oh, so Colin no, Cow- Colin Coward. To, I he started guy. liking him. Colin Coward to Cody is like Zach to Jake. He just says shit just to <laughs> piss Browns fans off, and they feed into it. It's crazy to think, though, that Cody used to love him. I loved him. Absolutely loved him. Met him, got my picture with him. Oh, I love him because he books. is a Joey B fan from. <laughs> when he likes you, he likes you. Yeah. When he hates you, <laughs> he hates you. He's going to let you know about it. I only watched that show for Joy Taylor, and now she's got her own show. Oh, for real? So she will soon, show. I think. She's got a Saturday 12 to I 2 still, show. Ain't oh, she's still on that show? Oh, she's still to 14 at one point, Houston beating Jacksonville. That yeah, is. So let's let's go to the Steelers, and then we're going to go around the league. So the Steelers were down 10 points at halftime. They got lucky with a blocked punt, and they won. Skill. That's special, it. Right? So Skill. Teams Nothing play. else to say. A guy at my work is as big of a Steelers fan as Matt is, and he literally said to me, I walked in this morning, I'm like, I didn't see the game. How was it? He goes, they sucked more than we beat them. They did. So they were terrible. I, I agree and I disagree. So Pittsburgh came out the first half and it was the same Pittsburgh team as last year that went eleven and zero. Same, just fucking three yard passes. I mean, and you got to change half, it up. You're saying it was the same. You team. were losing. It was the same team, but it, it was, was still the, the same offense. It was like nothing they changed. They looked awful. They that's changed. That's what I mean. No, and so that's here's what he, teams here's what he means. Out. Here's what he means. He's not. He's not talking the first eleven. No, he's talking about the talking about the one. Yeah, the, the same, same thing we did all year, same and teams figured dunk, it out. Five yeah. yards, fucking just. And they changed offensive and coordinators. Our defense, I still think, is a top five defense in the NFL. No, defense. I don't disagree with that. And That's if it I, wasn't I, for our defense, we would have lost that game by a lot. But offense did come out the second half. I felt like Ben had a little bit more control of the offense, and I mean they. They did what it but, needed. So let to be me done. ask you this: not being pessimistic or anything, but how long do you let him take the reins when you guys know he's limited as your quarterback? I say let him take, let him do what he wants until he proves. No, he I'm can't saying I'm not it. saying like after this year. Do you say okay, oh, like Ben? It's uh, time to hang it up, dude. It depends what they do. I think though. this year's yeah, got to be I, last year. I've been honestly saying for the last few years that it, it Ben's because no, I'm just saying retire. like. I mean, everybody can see he's not the, he's not the same Ben breaking six tackles here's, and rolling out. No, and not. here's my question: You go ten and this is what I think is probably going to happen you, on the on the the ceiling for the Steelers: ten and seven, losing the wild card. What do you say for Big Ben? I think try I, again next year. I mean, or? I said it a couple of years ago that it was time for Ben to hang it up. The problem is we don't have anybody in position to replace him. I, they he's our is, best. Is it, option just, is it just me or does the Steelers organization think Mason Rudolph is a long-term solution. Oh, they do. For your sake, they don't. I don't know why. If it's just, I don't. I don't know what they see in him. Uh, maybe something nobody else sees. I, maybe he's holding you know, private you know practices. Where, I don't know. <laughs> you know what was my worst nightmare, and I'm so glad that they didn't do it. Was Jameis Winston. I wanted. I wanted. I us thought, yeah, Jameis I, thought, I thought for sure Jameis Winston was going to the Pittsburgh so Steelers or Cam but, Newton. I did not. But I think Cam also Newton. I'm not worried about Cam <laughs> Newton. I wouldn't mind seeing Watson stay in Houston all year and then Pittsburgh may going after him. That would okay, that would be year. my very yeah. worst. That would be worst. That'd be that's my thought process right on, behind. That'd be right on a uh, par for uh, them. Yeah, he'd fit in great. Fit right in. <laughs> Hey, one right to the next one with the next I one. mean, if one leaves, you got to replace him. <laughs> oh but, uh, there, I mean, Pittsburgh has a lot of issues they need to fix. The time in between Ben Roethlisberger and Deontay Johnson, I mean, it wasn't there. There was a lot of miscommunication there. The offense, I don't know. They didn't look great, but they did what they needed to do to get it done. So I know Ben's, like, not the greatest anymore, but, like, it kind of reminds me of the Bengals towards the end of, like, when they had Andy Dalton because, like, we were still making the playoffs, but it was, like, one and done. So, like, even if they do, like, make the wild card or something like that and then, like, win or lose or whatever, but, like, I feel like that's the end. Of the ro- like, even though, like, Andy was, like, solid and we got the playoffs, like, it was time to move on. We got Joe Burrow. So but Ben will – He's fine in an aspect of he'll get us to the playoffs. Like you were saying, it's gonna if we win and go deep into the playoffs, it's gonna be because of our defense. For sure. So I here's mean, Najee Harris didn't really. I mean, I think he had forty some yards. Sixteen he had carries a, for he had a terrible yards. first half. He kind of had a long play. But in, I think in the that's more of a reflection half. of your line. Than Our line. Get, yeah, is, I didn't get to see. It. Was the line good? Bad? It was. I mean, it was about what we had last year. Big Ben got ben, tossed around at one point. He got ooh. thrown down pretty good. Kind of same play. thing we had. I mean, the line. So, Big Ben yesterday, 18 for 32, 
188 yards, one touchdown, sacked twice for 11 yards, a quarterback rating of 28.6. Damn. No, like, like I said, D- I'm our not, defense I'm not, won us that game. Yeah, I'm not bashing. I'm just saying, it's like with Andy Dalton, we knew it was time. Like, okay. It's, yeah, that's what I was trying, trying to say. How, like, long does, how long does the organization let Ben hang around? Because, you know, he's a first ballot Hall, Hall of Famer. He is. Like, yeah. how long does old Ben – Keep so this Ben, around. I think if you ask a real Steelers fan, they would say Are it's time for him to a go. Real Steelers fan? Well, and I, oh. I think it's time for him He's to go. Right. <laughs> it's, no, I, I, I agree with people that on Twitter like keep him another year if he wants. To. I, I thought when he tore or had Tommy John, it was time for him to go. No, when the Browns radio has the Steelers radio people on, they all say like it, it's time. Like Big Ben should have retired. Yeah. I think last year. But the problem is the we don't have anybody better Browns. than him. It would be Mason Rudolph. What did you say, Connor? Yeah, yeah, I said that, hit that picture of him sitting on the bench after the Browns lost. I thought he was done. <laughs> I, yeah. But also, I, well, he's always Pouncey. said his whole career he is going to go out with Pouncey. Yeah, and he didn't. And so, I was like, I, so when Pouncey announced his retirement, I thought Ben was that done was what sure. two years ago, last yeah, year. It was, last oh, year. It was last him year. and Pouncey. Pouncey was the, the one oh. crying on the bench next to him. The center that and then they Juju dra- was doing TikTok. The center that they yep. drafted this year uh, graded out as tied for one of the top centers in the world yeah, yeah, during preseason. Kid from Illinois. Well, yeah. after this game, uh, he had a good game. And one thing that on my Steelers radio show that I listened to that they pointed out. The line for Pittsburgh sucked last year, but nobody would admit that because of who was on it. Because they were big at one point. Nobody was going to admit admit Marquise Pouncey needed to retire or anybody on that line. So I don't know. I don't. uh, The Castro. The Castro. They they all needed to go. I've read a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know how much it's hearsay, whatever, that later in the season when the Castro is ready to go, that he would sign with the Bengals. Ooh. He's had injury problems. I got yeah. Steelers buddies this I'd take him over him. the way uh, Quentin Spain played last week. I know that. Over or, Quentin Spain? Yes. Quentin Spain got his shit ate up quite a bit yesterday. I was thinking about Xavier Sulafilo. Sulafilo graded out better than Quentin Spain You guys Spain can have did. Zach Banner if you want. No. He, Pass. All that motherfucker does is run his mouth on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> I, He was with the Browns for a little I bit. I dislike him a lot. I'm <laughs> glad he was able to make his comeback in the NFL, get it. A starting role, but I I think he's injury prone and he's yeah runs his mouth on Twitter. Yeah. All right, so let's go around the NFL. Take a look quickly through the through the games yesterday. <laughs> Eagles Falcons thirty two to six Eagles. I that mean, was I shocking. The fuck. The fuck I picked the Falcons. the Falcons. That was shocking. Bad. I, I think I the Eagles the are. Too. I think uh, Matt Ryan's another Ben Roth needs yeah, you no, to go. That's out. what I was he about to say. To yeah. Matt Ryan needs to hang it up. Well, I thought that they thought that they were going to get Justin Fields, and so they went Kyle Pitts. They went Kyle Pitts, and so they were like, "We're going to ride." No, with Fields Matt was Ryan. still there. I know, but original before like the draft, like I thought, I'm like they're going Justin Fields, but they should. No. They, the Bears yeah. got the steal of the century, and we'll look back on this Ooh. in a few years. They got the steal of the century getting Justin Fields as late as they did. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, as late as they that late, yeah. yeah. Niners, uh, they were up. 38 to 10 at one point on the Lions. They end up winning by eight points. The Lions get an onside Covered. kick. Had a chance. Had a chance so to tie the game in MC the fourth quarter. Did the Niners look good or was the Oh, the Detroit Niners were that bad. No, no, the Niners were good. And the, oh, the Lions were bad too, though. I know. I mean, the Niners have been bad on injury. Golf, golf had three touchdowns, one pick, and the pick just happened to be a pick six. Damn. Um, but I mean, the Lions. Yeah, they're not. They're not good. The Niners are good, but Matthew the Lions Stafford. just kind of hung around. So, did you guys see the DeAndre Swift rumors that he was being <laughs> yeah, investigated for murder? It wasn't real though. It wasn't. Yeah. So, somebody, some fake Twitter was like, Dan Campbell was probably like, "That's <laughs> what we want. That's what we want in the locker room." <laughs> A guy that's willing to People are talking about guys that. You know, he probably didn't, but he could murder somebody. That's who we want in our locker room. (laughs) And I retweeted that. I said, uh, this sounds like something he would actually say. I mean, they bite kneecaps. They bite kneecaps. That's what they do. They have coaches. Does anybody catch what uh, Mike Vrabel was talking about? So, Mike Vrabel. Yeah, so we'll go that. That was my next one. The Cardinals and the Titans. Cardinals absolutely destroy. Destroy. Offensive player of the year, I'll call it. 38 to 13 over the Titans. My fantasy quarterback. So, they, again, I I only watched Pittsburgh. Game so Arizona looked good. Arizona looked Amazing. very good. They scored played great first, defense. One, first, second, third quarter 10, 14, and 14. What did Derrick Henry do? Nothing, Nothing. 58 Nothing. yards. He, they had him on the sideline yeah. for like damn a couple he, drives. Well, once you get down 17 like they carries did, for like, 58 yards, the ball. I feel like Jones Arizona's been on that ass. verge of being great for the last couple years. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. AFC West is gonna be like, That's I mean, they really got a squad, man. Honestly. 
But you have Seattle, who they just Ooh, always yeah. are there. Yeah. And nobody can ever, like... No, and I feel like nobody ever talks about them. Yeah. It's just they pop up in the playoffs and are like, oh, yeah, Seattle. Like, Russell yeah. Wilson's greatness okay. is very much under-talked about. Oh, for sure. Seattle, 1-0. The Niners, 1-0. The Cardinals, 1-0. The Rams, 1-0. NFL, Ooh. or what is That's that? NFC good fucking West. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. What is the NFC North. South. Oh, one, oh, no, the uh, NFC North. Packers, Vikings, Lions, Bears, all lost. And I thought. Well, I think he's talking about, are you talking Cowboys, about the Cowboys? Oh. Niners won. I heard a stat during like the Bucks saying the Cowboys Giants. don't play another team that made the playoffs last year until week 11. Football team. Wow. wow. Somebody in that division won. The NFC East. Somebody won. The Niners. No, no, the, the NFC East. East. The Eagles. Oh. The Eagles. The Eagles, Eagles are in won. first place. One yeah. Yep. Yeah, everybody else. No, the AF- AFC is definitely powerhouse now. I mean. Oh, the AFC is way more the NFC loaded. has Tampa. We play but in it. <laughs> well, they got Tampa. Uh, got Tampa. You Seattle. Got Seattle. The Packers. The, Seattle. Well, the Saints look good. Saints look so, good, but they're not going to contend. Saints. I think Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston might We'll get there in a minute. We're going to do predictions. I will say Tampa Bay also lost 38-3. To the Saints last yeah, and they won the Super Bowl. Won yep. Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl. That's true. Um, it is week one. So was, that was that week was one like before week, that whole uh, shit. That's why I hate. I did our little pick. That wasn't week. week one. It was week. No, nine. I'm talking about no. this week. Yeah, was that week was week one. nine. This was week one. Okay. 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 So what's the deal with that? Because they technically have to pay ten more dollars to keep going. Well, I meant oh, the shit, pick. The right. pick them against the spread. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So Survivor, I'll reach out this week. So yeah, we run a Survivor League. Matt lost with the Vikings. <laughs> to be fair, I had the Bengals covering the spread, but I did have the Vikings winning, so don't be mad at me. Well, you're an idiot. So do the same uh, thing two with other the Bears lost next week, too, please. Oh, uh, Parrots, Parrots friend. Parrots buddy lost because he had... It's Stu? Stu didn't no, do it. Didn't play. It's somebody Stu else doesn't or... read text messages. Zach? <laughs> Pretty much. Was it Zach? Who did Zach have? I don't remember. Look it up real quick, Drew. But while, while Drew's looking that up, uh, the Seahawks beat the Colts. We talked about it. Seahawks are good. Colts, I just don't think they're going to be that good. Uh, Chargers beat the football team. Not much really to talk <laughs> yeah. about there. It kind of shouldn't sucks. have been as close as it Ryan was. Ryan Fitzpatrick right. out six to eight Heineke. weeks. That sucks. It's, yeah, you think Ta- he's done? Is it Taylor Heineke or Tyler Heineke? I think it's Taylor. Taylor, Taylor Heineke. Yeah. Um, he really played well last year though. So almost beat the Bucks in the playoffs. Right. They had a pipe burst in the stadium. Did you guys so, see that? Yeah, they said it hadn't rained there in over forty or uh, two weeks. Forty so years. That that was, <laughs> I was gonna say forty days, but that was something Pat was talking so, about. Lou Sassel, shout out to you, bro. Parrot's friend. You lost. <laughs> I like how you just keep referring to him as Parrot's friend. <laughs> Matthew's crazy pick name. set. Matthew lost. Who Zach's did? unrivaled pick Who'd set. Who'd Zach pick? Well, Zach, Green you, Bay. He's gonna Why would you pick too. that game? That's tough. That's rough. Yeah, that's, uh, Why would you not pick the Niners? Like, yeah. I just feel like the Niners was the easy pick. The only other one. team I was going to pick this week was the Bucks, and I'm glad I didn't. Cause but I the only gonna, thing is close. now, like, <laughs> So Connor's like, I'm picking the Browns, but do I want to take the Browns this early that's in the I'm season? Trying to pick and that's kind like of what I was thinking. I thought teams. Minnesota would. I, I mean, Bengals look a lot better than I thought they were going to, so I went Minnesota. But so I looked ahead to week two. I think I'm going to go Broncos. Broncos at Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't know. That's one of those sneaky ones where Trevor Lawrence comes out and just torches yeah. them. And uh, the Broncos. They look. Good. He so threw bad, two picks dude. in like what the first half. That's what he ended up with. What three, three or four touchdowns? Three, three touchdowns. Three, three touchdowns. Picks. Three picks. Yeah, he's on track for the Jameis Winston thirty down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looking at him though. He does not look. He like doesn't look NFL comfortable. I, like, yeah, he looks like I've been a, out on a him woman. Since. First off, and, and he just he is a weird looking person. He looks very weird. He looks the, like he's going to The get blonde a show. hair no, coming th- out of the back of those green I think jerseys. he has, like, so much <laughs> yeah. confidence in himself. Like, he's been so good for so long. He thought he was just going to come in. And, well, like, he didn't lose a game till uh, see, preseason I, in the NFL. Is yesterday. he active on social media? Because I've never heard anything from him. He's got an Instagram, yeah. He's, Does he? He's just like, engaged. The way, whatever. like, the Maybe. arrogance. Like, they did that interview, and he was like, oh, it's it's not going to be a big deal. I'll transition and da 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 And then... Well, his coach said that, too. Welcome to the NFL, (laughs) Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, so the Texans just pummel the Jaguars. I think it was like 37 to 17. The morale in that team is terrible, too. Yeah. Urban Meyer. Their, uh, they said the they end. said the whole team hates Urban Meyer. Yeah. He's running yeah. like first a year NFL quarterback <laughs> with a brand new quarterback, or first year NFL coach and brand new quarterback. Like, like I love Urban because he's an Ohio State guy, but oh, here uh-huh. reading all the stuff when they're like Urban's feeling a heart attack already and all this stuff, I just die <laughs> laughing at well, it. Well, USC Chess fired their head coach back. today, and they said, yeah. "How soon? How many days till Urban goes to UC USC?" 
Yeah, that he's, he's been rumored leave for that job for a of long season? time. No, he. I mean, doesn't I he guess, though? Yeah. Isn't his mo to leave for medical reasons? Yes. Yes, and then. Always comes back. That's why he that's left why Florida. That's why he Florida. left Ohio State. Yeah, because he knew Ohio State was opening up. He's like, oh, gotta spend time. <laughs> so with maybe my he'll he'll drop <laughs> a heart attack <laughs> on the sideline next week and go to USC. Panthers beat the Jets nineteen to fourteen. Who Snooze fest. cares? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Good for Sam Darnold. Sam Donald almost, almost. His won. stat line was pretty Zach good. Zach Wilson looked okay. From the highlights I saw, I, mean, I think, I really I think it game, wasn't. It was a five score game, but it wasn't close. It was sixteen to zero at halftime. Um, it was so Zach Wilson, 258 yards, two touchdowns a pick, 28 quarterback mm. rating. Eh. Uh, Sam Darnold, 2435, 279 touchdown, no picks, 47 QBR. Yeah. You guys can hold me to this. I think Zach Wilson has a better career than Trevor Lawrence does. Yeah, I agree. I'll I agree. agree. Speaking oh, yeah. of the quarterbacks, I think Sam Donald has a uh, uh, career like kind of Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think Trevor Lawrence is the worst quarterback in that draft class. I, I think I'm every wondering. single quarterback I, drafted has a better career. I I, the only one I'm iffy on, on is Trey Lance here, because boys. so like he's great with like the read option and what they do there, but he cannot throw the ball. I don't did know Lance if we're play at all last? Yeah, he, he threw a touchdown pass. Oh, did, did he? he? Yeah, he like touchdown pass. Yeah, like 15, 20 yards. But is that going to be the new that, thing though in the NFL? Just played two quarterbacks. Play two yeah. quarterbacks. <laughs> Seems like everybody's doing it. I mean, we're talking about the rookie quarterbacks here, but it's the sophomore guys that went off yesterday. I mean, Joe Burrow, Tua. Justin Herbert. Tua. I wouldn't call Tua Wait, going on, off. On. They did scored Tua, 17 points. Yeah, did Tua go off? So I'm, that was the I'm next game. That's too. the next game that I've got. Yeah. Tua and the Dolphins, they beat the Patriots 17 to 16. Uh, Tua was 16 to 27, 200 yards, a touchdown, a pick, 39.9 QBR. I mean, had to so, be Mac Jones look. What so Mac, how yeah. many games does it take Miami to lose and Tua look like shit before they just pull the trigger and uh, give Houston what they want? Yeah, they're GM. I'm, I'm hoping, hoping, already I'm hoping they don't. They're, Six. So Pittsburgh go after <laughs> their GM talked about that or something like that after the game about how like something about oh, I heard it on Pat's show today something about like uh, if he's not like stepping up like they could definitely do something like that but what what Houston wants in return is like Six like potential players well, or players draft picks, picks like in like together. So that's just insane. I think Watson's worth whatever I think they he want is for him. It. The problem is, a, is you don't know what's going to happen next year. You don't know if he's going to be need, spent for a year or yeah. what. I so he's good for like a team in Miami, favorite. but not a small market. If but you but you got to think if you're giving up multiple first round draft picks, how far behind that sets your franchise. Yeah, you're remortgaging mm-hmm. your house essentially. Especially a team that needs to rebuild. I mean, we all seen draft day with Kevin well, Costner. Miami we doesn't need to works. rebuild though. No. My, I think Miami has well, the players a, in there. They're, they're just missing away. the quarterback. That's what I'm saying. If I'm if I'm Miami and you take take the criminal charges away, if I'm Miami, I give you whatever you want. Well, they're not criminal for Deshaun players. Watson civil charges. Allegedly. For whatever you want, because Deshaun Watson is a top five NFL quarterback and he's 25 years old. I think it takes two a uh, Two first and, and two yeah. seconds. Oh yeah, definitely send him speak, to. Speak, a, did he? Did Watson play? No, no, he's, no, right. he's he's there. There. no he will not. They've he's already a, said he will not. He's play. a healthy scratch. They're healthy not scratch. putting him on the uh, commissioner's exempt list, so he's still going. So I know he's eligible cap. to play, but I didn't yeah. know if he was he even active. He, no, he wasn't even at the game. Fair what? Enough. No. He he wasn't at the game. Um, yeah. No, Tyrod Taylor played. I mean, well, I knew Tyrod played, but. I'm I figured I'm he pretty would still positive show up. If he wasn't even at, like, at but if you're a healthy time. scratch, that, I feel like you're, you're still, still there. to be there. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I, mean, I like didn't see him. Him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't I see didn't, him. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I situation. would assume well, if he was there, he would have ended up on camera. At the, at at the some same point. time, like most guys that are healthy scratches are not Deshaun Watson either. Exactly. I mean, he's a top five NFL quarterback. If he's playing right now and his contract was up, he's getting. Damn near Patrick Mahomes' money. Yeah. Like he How is much is he costing? A good quarterback. Costing like, uh, a lot. He's, he's like He signed a contract. He signed. Yeah, he signed like, an what extension. What year is he on? Five? Year five? Three? Four? Same year is it as that? Three. Three. He's at least four, Mahomes, if not five. So, yeah, yeah, I think, I think he's five. in. He's into his second contract. Yeah, he's in his second contract, but so he's been. How many seasons has he actually played other than this year? I'm gonna say at least four. I would assume this is fifth. I feel like, and he also tore his ACL one of those years. True. His rookie year. Yeah. Not but if I'm a GM, he I'm was not one of the ones that, that reached out to Joe Burrow about right what it was going to take, and I'm not blah, I'm not blah, blah. taking the risk on that. I'm not giving a pick. Well, I mean, two first rounders, like okay, but if you're going to give up more than that, I, I it, need his legal. The Rams don't have exactly. the Rams do not have a first round pick for like the next three or four years. Yeah, but Matt Stafford looked damn good. Stafford has always offense. been good. It's just Detroit. Yeah, has yeah exactly. Him back. 
So this is uh, this season would be his fifth NFL. That's season. what I thought. So oh, he so played. He played three, and then they signed him to. So the he extension. got a contract. When did he get a contract extension? After, it had to after be year three. Okay, and that's he a like huge one. Baker's right? gonna get yeah. paid now. So you know it keeps going up. Joe Burrow is gonna get a fucking astronomical. Well, that's what I was money. talking to somebody today. Like, who was it right before T.J. Watt signed that got Josh Allen? No, uh, same position. Miles Garrett. No uh, safety. Uh, 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 Miles Garrett's was getting it, fucked. Uh, compared was it to Simmons? What Watt's getting Justin paid. Simmons. Oh no no no! You I forget, but it's always team, like. My bad. Not they sure. watch what that person yeah, does and then they just beat them. Well, that's day. why. So Jesse Bates, like everybody knows the Bengal, we want to extend him, blah, blah, blah. He signed an agent that is notorious for feeling the market and getting his client more money than the top paid guy in the league. Right. Just do the Cam Newton and represent yourself. Or Lamar Jackson. Well, you see how that's going for him, <laughs> considering he's watching the games on his couch like yeah. we are. Oh, yeah. Did you watch that interview with him and his dad? Well, his dad shouldn't talk anyway. His dad was the one taking money and shit when he was in college. <laughs> when he was at Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Saints absolutely did destroy the Packers. I mean, 38-3. to three. Jameis have any interceptions? Uh, I don't think I don't so. Think that five one, touchdowns, no picks. That one in the Eagles game, like, shocked me. Devontae like, oh, See, I knew, I knew Winston game. was going to do good, but I didn't know he was going to destroy Green Bay. Well, he, threw, he only right. threw 20 pass attempts, and he's had five touchdowns. He only had a, he only had 148 yards. You see his passing? Game interview? But that yeah. means he that said, <laughs> he said, he said, we're going into the game. We just had to listen to my trainer. My trainer, my trainer gave us a great quote. He said, a, a great, great quote. quote. He said, we just need to be prepared. His quote was, he was like, uh, what just, did he say? Yeah. Just be prepared. Yeah. Just be prepared. That's what he said. <laughs> that was that was very. And funny, that yeah. just tags along with all those stupid workout videos you see of him constantly like doing well, weird stuff. Well, and then stuff. the Tampa <laughs> one, <laughs> the Tampa uh, pregame one, he's sucking on his fingers. Oh, yeah. he still does. And everybody's that. looking dub, around dude. like Eating dubs. You got to eat those dubs. That's what James Winston does. Well, that's the what one, he did yesterday. The one where he's throwing the rags, and I want to say it was like uh, Hasselbeck or somebody. Like quoted the tweet and was like, "This is why you don't pay your uh, hometown buddy a bunch of money to train you." <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of that, though, I saw a conspiracy theory, I guess you can say, of Aaron Rodgers doing this on purpose. I've seen that too, no. but yeah, I just trying to get traded. I, I see that too, but I, at the same time, I just don't feel like at this point in his career, just wasting games. Yeah, that's not. So I, I don't. What's yeah. ESPN used to have like Donkey of the Day or? Whatever yeah, their thing, the day. yeah. Like I feel like he's that. Like never he heard can, of that before. He comes out and he, you know, it's he's very, br- he's very honest in his press conferences, and he was professional about it. But Can't when you say all this stuff about the organization and they don't do this and they don't do that, and then you're Aaron Rodgers and you come out and that's how you play, like fifteen bomb. of twenty eight, one hundred thirty three yards, no touchdowns, two picks. I don't like the long hair. Twenty six. Points on my fantasy team for my quarterback. Damn. Yikes. And in our league, that's that's a lot. That's I mean, that's two, it's 2.6 yeah. points in your reg- standard yeah. score. Because yeah. yeah. I'm in an yeah. NFL app league, and I, it confuses me every time. I like, I only have 28 points. I hate that. I like the I like the higher scoring. Yeah, that's like our ESPN league. Where you're yeah. like, your team scores what one guy in our league yeah. does. Yeah, right. I remember explaining, I was t- talking to one of my friends, and I was like, yeah, I need uh, like a couple hundred points to win this game. And he was like, you're gonna lose. Luck. I was like, oh, no, no, no! It's like a different league. Yeah. <laughs> I li- you guys liked it better though. I, I like it. Better. I, like I like the, the higher, higher scoring oh, better. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. Uh, Broncos beat the Giants. Who cares? The Giants are gonna be so bad. The yeah, Giants Daniel are gonna be Jones very bad. Is not good. Uh, Rams beat the Bears. I think the Bears are gonna be bad till they decide to play Justin Fields next week. The Rams uh, are gonna not. be very, very good this year. Yes. The Rams are gonna be good. Matthew so with Stafford with is that, a top ten quarterback. Let's take a break. Let's thank our sponsor real quick. And on the other side, we will do Super Bowl predictions, AFC North predictions, um, AFC, NFC North, AFC, NFC championship predictions. And uh, we'll close the show out on the other side. All right. Let's do some predictions for the NFL season. We've got one week in the books pending tonight's week one Monday night football game between the Ravens and the Raiders. And we can all agree. Raiders. Raiders. Go Raiders. Ravens win 42 Raiders. to 23. <laughs> you said what? 42 to 23. Raiders. Raiders. No. Who wins? Need a bit of the Ravens. No. I, I think Raiders. I need the Ravens. Screw your damn fantasy team. Why? why <laughs> who do you have? I have basically their he entire has, fucking team. He has, <laughs> he has <laughs> L- Lamar, their just defense, like Justin Tucker. Pass. And uh, Hollywood Brown. And Brown. Okay. You started so. Hollywood Brown? 
That's unfortunate. Kirk, I think I have uh, Mark Andrews oh, going tonight, dude. but I already won. Well, he yeah, catches if he can just catch like a negative pass in the red tonight zone, so. and just not play that. I think I beat rate. both of you. Yeah, he beat me. You in the Vegas League and you in our league. Yeah, All right, let's start with Connor. We were neck and neck in the Vegas League. I don't, yeah, and then somehow I pulled away. I don't know who. Let's start with Connor and work our way around to Matt. I want AFC Championship, NFC Championship, Super Bowl, Super Bowl winner. Give me a minute. Let me even look at the team. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be prepared for this, but it's okay. Why well, didn't Maybe I pass on to somebody else? Huh? Jake, go ahead. What are we doing? For a- you? I mean, I mean, come NFC on. NFC Championship cool. game, AFC Championship game, Super Bowl. All right, I'll okay. go first. So NFC. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Drew. NFC Championship. Rams, Cardinals. Ooh, Ooh. Cardinals. I like the Hot Cardinals. Take. Hot take. Hot take. Happy AFC. Um. Chiefs. I'll say Chiefs Browns again. Not again. We didn't get there last year. Or well, before that, but, but we will. Chiefs You're Browns. Right. I appreciate that. Super Bowl. Uh, Chiefs, Rams, and your champion. Chiefs. <laughs> I dig it. Wow. All right, Jordan, go ahead. Uh, for the NFC, I'm gonna go Packers and Tampa Bay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is just pulling us. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is just pulling us. Yeah. I did. did. You watch that shit? I did. It's week one. Week one. Chill out. Uh, Austin R- Seibert e- scored more points L- than all of A- X, guys. <laughs> Th- that's sad, honestly. Shout but out, relax. Austin it's going to be okay. They're going to get to the NFC Championship. Him and Devontae are going to get it right. Um, Tampa Bay just looks like they're unbeatable right now. <clears throat> and that defense, defense wins championships. So that's why I'm going to have them as my NFC picker. Um, AFC, I'm going to go Chiefs. And give me – I just got to say Browns. I mean, the, overall, they look like they're going to be the team to do it. I don't know about how I feel about Buffalo playing the Steelers. I mean, you can kind of flip the Steelers and Browns on who's going to win a division at right now. But for some reason, I think the Browns are just going to do it. So that's uh, where I But was, they're not going to go to the Super yeah, Bowl. That's, that's where I was leaning choose. was between the Browns and the Bills. But – with what Bills I saw just yesterday. So badly yeah. yesterday. <laughs> and we're going to have a rematch of last year's Super Bowl where Patrick Mahomes will finally beat Tom Brady in a playoff Super Bowl game. Okay, right, I'll go next. I do not think the Chiefs make it back to the Super Bowl this year. I, I, I agree. I think they pick. will be in the AFC Championship. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, now <laughs> I look like, at it. <laughs> I, I don't know because I don't think they make it back to the Super Bowl, but at the same time, it's a toss-up as – it's either going to be the Browns or Buffalo in the AFC Championship. So you have to pick one. I originally just... said Buffalo after that game yesterday. I'm going to go Browns. And the Super Bowl is? Well, I that means you NFC. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, NFC. Uh, I think Tampa runs it back. Um, and I would say either against Seattle or Arizona. I'll go Seattle. Mm. Tampa Hot wins. Take. Goes to the Super Bowl. Tampa wins Super Bowl again. Tampa beats Brady who? Two peats. Who does Tampa beat? Browns. Okay. Okay. Browns, Browns go to the Super Bowl. Bowl. Super Bowl Browns. See, you can change really the I Browns. Super It'll Bowl. probably be the Chiefs, well, I but know. I just don't want to pick Super the Chiefs. Super Browns. I'm go fucking ahead, tired of watching the Chiefs. <laughs> Jake, go ahead. Everybody is. Oh, uh, man. I really would have liked to see this Ravens game tonight just to see what they're about this year. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, True. Because we, have cause we saw play. everybody else except for the Ravens as far as the AFC goes. Um so, based off of just what I saw Sunday, I'm going to have to go Chiefs and Browns in a rematch of week one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then in the NFC, I'm going to go with the Rams and... Everybody's loving the Rams. Yeah, NFC is kind of stacked this year. And, uh, man, I'm going to say Tom gets it back to him. Um, but I'm going to give it to the Rams in the title game, so it'll be Rams mm. and uh, Chiefs. And um, I'm going to go with the Rams in the Super Bowl, actually, so, as the winner because wow. the Tampa Bay defense gave Patrick Mahomes fits last year. And based off what I saw from the Browns, I mean, who, I mean, they got Tooney and Kyle Long and Orlando Brown, all those guys on the Chiefs' offensive line. But, I mean, who's stopping Aaron Donald? You know, they don't have a guy sure. for that. And Jalen Ramsey on the outside. So, I'm going to go with the Rams in the Super Bowl. 
Remember that Rams Chiefs game, that Monday night game? Oh, that, that was, was the best. That, that was so that was probably the App best Frickers football game I've ever, ever seen. That was I mean, ever seen. That was, like, seen. That was like, from Mexico, it was like right? Fifty something. No, it was fifty something. To be. They played like, it was like forty-eight, forty-six, or fifty-two, no, fifty-two, fifty-two, fifty-two years, forty-eight, or yeah. something like stupid, like, insane. like just absolutely back insane. And Monday night. Didn't even go to overtime either. No, that was the best football game I've ever seen. And I looked at Cody while we were watching it. I'm like, this is probably the best game we will ever watch in our life. And we said it like three times. Like it just kept happening. Like something just kept happening. Happening for Literally that. insane. It was insane. All right, Matt, what you got? AFC. So I'm going to go, I guess, what nobody else is going. I don't think Brady goes far in the playoffs. I think they're easily figured out. Um, so I'm going to go Rams Cardinals. I thought about that um, for a second. But I don't bet against little, Tom Is this Brady. a little bit overreaction on the Cardinals? Right I now? think they're good. No, dude. no I, I, think, good. I, think yeah. I think the Cardinals wow. have been on the edge for a couple years. Good and defense. I think. Great wide receivers, get it done. Okay. great quarterback. I Cliff, don't think they win Cliff the championship. Kingsbury, though, in the Super Bowl? I think they get to – no, I don't a, think they NFC get to – I think fight. they get to the – I think they knock off – they're probably a lower seed, and I think they knock off Tampa in the playoffs. Tampa, or, and I think Green Bay will figure it out and make it. It's going to be Green Bay, Tampa, Seattle, Cardinals, Rams. Okay, so you said Cardinals and – But Cardinals, Rams, I think Rams beat them. The AFC, I'm still high on the Bills. Um, I think Josh Allen – I mean, he's proven year after year he's he's – their guy, and I think the Bills will figure it out. I think they make it to the championship game, and yep. All right, move on. <laughs> Super Bowl. Who you got? No, nah, I'm not talking anything else. Who you got? No, I think the Browns could make the championship game. I do think same thing with the Browns; it can be beaten. Um, I mean, any team really could. But I, it's I'll between take. the Browns, and I do think Tennessee will bounce back also. And could get there. Their defense is Their too defense bad. Is if, it, so bad. if it's the Browns versus the Bills, I'll do it this way. Browns versus Bills, I think the Browns can beat the Bills. You didn't think mention the Chiefs at all. I I think the Chiefs are fi- – I mean, it's time for them to get figured out too. I, I think teams – You I think cannot, Tampa, you cannot Tampa has figure shown, out Patrick Mahomes. Their athleticism is just – I just – I think Tampa showed what you need to do, and I think – no, uh, yeah, Tampa, Tampa, showed, in the playoffs. Tampa showed what you need to do because they were without three starting offensive linemen. That's how they showed what you I need mean, to do. But yeah, they still but shut then down. They Patrick had all Holmes. their offensive linemen yesterday against the Browns, and their defense tore them up. I think. I think. But uh, they won. That's what's. Kansas I mean, City yeah. will make the playoffs, but I think they will. If it was another Browns. Kansas City game, I think. That, I mean, the Browns' odds are they're eventually going like, to win one. I know, like Brady's are. I mean, they're both our generation, but Brady's our generation. I mean, when you look back, if Patrick Mahomes plays 20 years, think what we say about Patrick Mahomes. I mean, Tom Brady's forgot about if he plays that long. I mean, he, the guy is literally that good. That's false. The dude won seven Super Bowls. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Forget about uh, Tom Brady. It's like Michael Jordan and LeBron James. I mean, you're not. Die. They're always going to be compa- if Patrick Mahomes goes like Tom Brady. They're always going to be compared on who who's the real goat. That's true. So Matt, you got so Super Bowl. Who do you have in the Super Bowl? Rams and I have the Rams winning, and I'm going 50 50 with. I, I think it's gonna be Rams Titans or Rams Bills. Oh, I was like, geez. Oh, that's Rams a that's Rams. a sleep. The Bills are a sleeper though, because the Bills that's are the one. That's who I picked originally, I but I, after yesterday, they yeah, when when Josh Allen turns it they on, looked and they get bad, going. but I think that they have the talent on that team. They did it last year. Mm-hmm. They well, made they a run. they have a stacked secondary too. I mean, defensively. they have the running back, they have the cornerback, they have Jordan the quarterback, Boyer, they have the receivers. I don't know. So, all right, here's what I got. NFC, I got the Bucks. I think the Bucks are very good. Even take Tom Brady out of the discussion. Their defense is legit. Is so good. It's their that's defense why, is so good. That's why I said figuring out the Chiefs and with their defense, and I was like, well, nobody else really has a defense like the Buccaneers. So that was going to be my point. On but that. I've got I the Pittsburgh Bucks defense can compete. I got the Bucks playing the Rams in the Super Bowl. And I think Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford are going to be best friends, and they're going to figure this shit out. They're going to put up absolutely oh, ridiculous yeah. numbers I, throughout no, the I, season. I agree with you. I think Matthew Stafford is going to win MVP. MVP. I, love I think the Rams him. are going to the Super I would Bowl. love to see him. I already put $50 on Bovada. I bet it was like plus 750 or something on Matthew Stafford MVP. Yeah, if so you take Pat. the Browns out of the NFL, I've – I like the Rams. I like watching the Rams. Did you guys watch that game last night? And he just looks like thinner. Like he looks more athletic. Matthew Stafford. He just looks very different than he did in Detroit. There's a lot to be said with veteran guys when you put them in a different situation. 
That's what yeah. happens. Well, he was getting fucked in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, every day. Uh, I mean, he had Calvin Johnson, and the dude's just like, "Fuck it, I'm out of here." Yeah, like, I'm Calvin done. Johnson is a top five receiver of all times, and he, he just quit. quit on football <laughs> because it was so bad in Detroit. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, one, you live I can't in Detroit. He's that's stuck awful. It out so long. Two, the football team was atrocious. <laughs> like, just to think about that, like. On the goal line, I don't they would live put in two guys. <laughs> nobody wants to live in Detroit. Literally oh. nobody wants to live in Detroit. But it's crazy to think about Calvin Johnson. Like, you would line up five, ten yards in, and they would put two corners on him, and the dude would catch a touchdown pass. There's trial, pictures. Bro. This is pictures. We were, we were younger yeah. when this happened, so it's hard to remember, but they literally lined up on Calvin Johnson like they do on gunners on the punt yeah. team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On first and goal at the five yard line, they would put two cornerbacks right in front of Calvin Johnson. All right, so I got I got Bucks Rams in the NFC, and I think the Rams are going to overpower them on offense, and the Rams are going to go to the Super Bowl. AFC, I got Browns Chiefs. So they're going to run it back. They're going to go to Kansas City, and like one of you guys said, eventually the Browns are going to beat them. I think we do it. I think we go. We progress through the season. I think we get better and better. The defense is going to the defense is going to continue to gel. We're starting eight. Out of 11 new players on defense, they're going to get better. They're going to gel. They're going to be great. And the Browns are going to go to the Super Bowl, and they're going to play the Rams. And they're going to get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. yes. That's all I got. I'm Rams, not, Rams, Rams, Rams. I mean, if, if the Browns Homer. go to the Super Bowl this year, I'm setting up three cameras in Cody's basement and live streaming. <laughs> I, I, live I might streaming actually Cody's just lock off. Is Super Bowl in L.A. this year? It's in, yeah, LA, it's in LA for the Rams. Oh. So I think How would that be? Back Two to back, teams. Rams play at home in the Super Bowl. If the Browns go to the Super Bowl, uh, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't imagine. But we, we, we're 0-1, so we got a lot to figure out before then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're far from Super He's, like, getting excited but trying to calm himself. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, you we got to go back and work exactly. this, guys. We, we have a so, chance. Exactly. Here's my hot take, and I told a guy at work this, like, three weeks ago. The Bengals will win 10 games this year. Ten I, games. I we, me and Connor did the schedule game the season. Me and Connor and did the schedule nine. game for the Bengals before we started. Before you guys They're got gonna here, they're gonna have to steal some games. I said eight or nine. Ten. I said nine. You're gonna have to steal some rip. for sure. But I don't. I even we're gonna go ten and seven. Tough. Nobody. If, if you stay healthy, I think you'll. Have what's your love to go What's your healthy. one game that we're gonna win that we're not I think supposed Green to? Bay. That's I, what I, I said. honestly think that's an easy. We beat, that's true. We historically week. beat Green Bay. I don't know why. Green Bay has the a last trash time defense. we went to Green Bay, we beat the shit out of Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Do you remember that? We lost that game, but we did beat the shit out of them. No, we no, we didn't. We won. We huh. beat Green Bay in Green Bay the last time we went uh, there. It was yes, the last we time we played would have been four NFC years ago North. from this yeah, year. 2017. No, we lost that game because Aaron Rodgers. It was a big deal. He beat no team at that point until that day. Or every team besides the Packers. I was going to say no team. I was about he beat every NFL team. Well, the, team the Packers the come to Cincinnati this year. This year I so I yeah. think that's the one we steal. Okay. I think so, too. It's either that or I think we go steal it in Pittsburgh. Those are my two that I think we can win. Next I don't week. agree with in Pittsburgh, but I could see you guys winning at home. They beat us see, in usually, overtime, 27 to 24. Usually so it was the time Steelers before that we beat them. Yeah, yeah, we it's the same thing with the Browns. We always seem to split. If we split with the Browns, it always seems Browns beat us at home. We beat them at home. Good job, Jordan. You remember that. I want to hey, split on everybody in the history. division this year. I'm so not I sure think, about the Ravens. Oh, shoot. That's what I'm I was out saying. on so, the Ravens. So I, let's, look at, let's look at the Bengals. You not play the game yet. I'm still – I've just. <laughs> i been out on them for a couple of years. I don't think so Lamar's is good. we got to wrap this up. That shit's about to start. Yeah, no, we're fine. Start. We're fine. We've got half an hour until I'm still trying to go get roosters and stuff. Yeah, not all of us live two minutes away. Yeah. Roosters is like an hour away. I was going to split the Bengals' schedule game. Fuck it. You guys suck. You're going to lose – that's my hot take. Games. Bengals ten and seven. I'll give you nine. I eight. said it three weeks ago before this game. I told a guy at work, I said ten games. It's like you're crazy. I had an argument at work today though. Speaking of, since we're wrapping it up, who do you think has the best wide receiver core in the NFL? Uh, the Cardinals. After yesterday, the Cardinals. The Cardinals. I would say. I'm still gonna go Tampa. I'm still going with the Bucks. Uh, I'm I going mean, Tampa. Yeah. Hey, I'm happy. I can confidently say the Bengals are top five. Yeah, mm. I said the best. Yeah. I don't know. Top five. I'm After what Jamar down. Chase did yesterday, oh, you bro. You can't say they're not top five. Come on. Top five? Yes. Top five. Dude, so I'm, I'm top five. I think I Higgins hate, is good. I hate this argument, but everybody says Jarvis over Tyler Boyd, but I Tyler Boyd gonna say the Bengals. consistently puts up better numbers he than does. Jarvis. I don't think they're Tyler both, Boyd was that great yesterday. He, he wasn't, but he didn't need to be. Yeah, like he, that's, he, that's what, three or four That's what I think the Bengals are going to do this year is they have those three guys and – 
they're unselfish enough to where when one guy shine, they're gonna let him shine and let him eat that day. And it's just too early to, to say that they're top five. You got and we got odd second year. We guy. got odd and Tate behind them who went for seven hundred yards. That's why I go Tampa. Backup. Though they have okay, three. Okay, so what would be your top five? No, Tampa. Tampa court? has the best receiving core. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go Tampa, especially Arizona, without, Tennessee. And who does Tennessee have besides Julio, Julio AJ, AJ Brown, and they have Corey Davis is gone. No, Corey Davis so. is gone. They have another third guy that's pretty good. Uh, the I'd go Chiefs. This tight end count. I would throw. Yeah. I no. would throw Brown. Just wide receivers. receivers. Counts, yeah. yeah. No, just wide receivers. <laughs> I. I mean, you can't just not receiving include. core. You can't so, not. Include so we have Travis to Kelsey. include yeah. the tight end. I mean, you don't have to, but if I mean, I would assume Kelsey is a big part of the tight or Kansas City's receiving because they got Tyree and core. But Kelsey, but who else? Do they wide have receivers? Rams are very good. Cooper Cup, Deshaun Jackson. Robert Woods. Robert Deshaun Woods. Jackson's washed. Yeah, Robert Woods. Okay, Cooper Robert Cup. Woods, Cooper Cup. Oh, my God. Uh, See, Van most Jefferson's teams have two good. big names, and Tampa's three. I think Cleveland could be talked about, but uh, th- I'm still out on OBJ. <laughs> <What the laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we just – What are we watching? Oh, my God. Kicker come up and fall down. Come uh, on, man. Bills Kicker have a good wide receiver hang core. On, hang on. Uh, Cole Beasley, this. Emmanuel Sanders, Diggs. Diggs. I'm not saying the Bengals good. don't have a good wide receiver core. I just think they're a little too young. All right, let's wrap it up. Um, NFL Week One. We're gonna do the same thing next week. So if you don't like it, don't listen. I don't care. We're just <laughs> dudes don't talking like football. Yeah. Dudes Wait talking until football. February. The next 18 weeks. Yeah. Dudes Sorry talking football. If they're That's still what this show's listening. I assume they're gonna listen next week. Yeah. Dudes talking football. That's what it's gonna be. Um, get off your chest. Anything real quick? We yeah. all gonna be at the game ne- games next week. Uh, we're in I'm Chicago. going to the game next week. You're so going to there. Pittsburgh. I am not going, going to not going to Chicago. I will be, I will, I will be on this during couch. the Bengals game. Yeah, it's, that's rough. Damn. Airpod. I so actually I shattered my phone last year because I had it in the golf cart, and it fell down, and the people behind us ran over my phone. Oh. You want to talk about brutal? Yeah. Not knowing what is going on. Who are they oh. playing? I could not do that. The Bears. You play the Bears. The Bears. No. Last year. No, who were they playing during this? I if you remember. remember. Does it matter? Couldn't know the Excuse. score. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's the Cape and Media Podcast, NFL Weekend, week one in the books. We'll talk again next week for week two. Hopefully the Browns are one and one. And hopefully the Bengals are one and one, too. Two and oh. So I'm going to get a hell yeah if your team's one and oh. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jamar Chase can catch the football. Yes, sir. <laughs> Maybe next week the Browns are uh, enjoy join it, us over just here on the victory enjoy. couch. Just enjoy it. Hey, like, enjoy Zach, it. like Zach Taylor <laughs> said, the wins in. came few and far between last year. We got to enjoy them now. Yeah, but he needs to make fair, a better play call. a couple years ago when you guys correct. sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you, you would get a little win and you'd be excited. I'm, I'm saying, it, hey, you have their day. You're, it's you're, all right. It's hey, I can't wait till we're both good and they age out and they suck. And it's going to be <laughs> fucking great. Matt's going to quit showing I, Ohio division. I am a realistic person. I, If Pittsburgh continues to be good, it's because of our defense. I've said it a hundred times. Yeah. And that's the Caveman Media Podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Connor's out. Jake, Jordan, Drew, Cody, Matt. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. Stay safe. ELE. Everybody love everybody. (laughs)